as you can see it's an input output based question wherein we have got six two digit numbers in the input we perform some operation in a step by step process right different operations in different steps to arrive at the final output which is given in step number four and what we have to do step four is the last step of the rearrangement as per the rules followed in the above steps find out the answers to each of the following questions so basically we would be given one more uh, set of input we need to perform the same operations as given here in, on, on that particular input and then answer the questions asked. So what is really required here is the, uh, you know, is the idea behind the steps given here. Okay. So let's look at it. What happens from input to step one? Input we have got 18, 56, 47, 78, 74, 36. Right. Uh, look at the first step step one very clearly it said it is an operation between 18 and 56 now what operation on 18 and 56 can give you 38 uh, very clearly 56 minus 18 the difference of 56 and 18 is 38 right 56 minus 18 is 38 let's see if that satisfies the other uh, parts also 78 difference 47 or 78 minus 47 yes 78 minus 47 is 31 correct right and here 36 difference 74 or 74 difference 36 is 38 right so I think step one is very clear what is what is happening in step one we are taking the difference difference of the numbers right difference of the numbers that's what we are doing here difference of the numbers what happens from step one to step two we have got 38 31 38 and in step two that has resulted to 64 and 27 so how do we get 64 and how do we get 27 it's it, it works as follows here you see 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 into 3 3 cube basically gives you 27 and 8 into 1 into 8 gives you 64 so basically 64 here is nothing but the product of 8 into 1 into 8 product of the second digit of each numbers and 27 here is the product of the first digit of each of the numbers 3 into 3 into 3 now you may ask me how do I know this how do I come to this conclusion how do I decide this there is no uh, there is no shortcut or a technique there it's all about trial and error after various trials I could figure out that this 64 is actually 8 into 1 into 8 and this 27 is 3 into 3 into 3 now you may not be able to do that in the exam even i may not be able to do that in the exam and that's a challenge here right it's a logic based question you have to break the logic to be able to arrive at the answer right so you know what has been done here right we are taking the second number as the product of the first digits of all the three numbers and first number is the product of second digit of all the numbers the sequence is also very important now what is happening in step 3 64 and 27 has become 20 and 14 now this is a typical step here let me explain what has been done here. This 20, this 20 is actually 4 into 7 minus 2. Now 7 and 2 refer to these 27 number here, the digits of 27. And 4 here is coming from the second digit of first number. So 7 minus 2 is 5, 4 into 5 is 20. And this 14 in a similar fashion is actually 6 minus 4 into 7. Now, where are the 6 and 4 coming from? The 6 and 4 are coming from first number. Like here, 2 and 7 had come from second number, right? And 4 was the second digit of first number. Here, 6 and 4 are coming from first number. And 7 is the second digit of first number. This 7 comes here. This 4 comes here. So, that has given us 20. And this is given us 14. 6 minus 4, 2 into 7, 14. And the last step, 20 and 14 has given us 216. It's actually... 20 minus 14 whole cube so 20 minus 14 you know where the numbers are coming from right simple difference of the two numbers cube 6 cube is 216 wow so that's the process behind uh, this whole arrangement right first step it is differences second step you multiply the first digits of all the three numbers take that in the second place multiply the second digit of all the numbers take that in the first place in the third step Difference of the two digits multiplied with the second digit of first number gives you the first output. Difference of the two digits multiplied with the second digit of second number gives you the second output. Step four is simple. Now, you may still ask me that how do we get this in the exam? 
you will not get any digits. I mean, it's like number series, right? Number series, a series of numbers is given to you. You have to find out the missing number, or you may have to find out the wrong number. Is there a definite way that you can get the output to get the answer? No, trial and error. You may or may not get it. You may solve thousands such questions in your practice, but you still may not be able to get the answer in the exam, right? Sometimes just by looking at this step, you know what's happened there. So, so there's no there's no method, there's no technique, right? Don't waste your time on such questions. Give it a try. Don't skip, but at the same time, don't waste your time, right? Try it out. If you get it well and good, maybe spend a couple of minutes because if you can crack it, then you'll get five marks. If you're unable to crack it, then just leave and move to the next one. But do try, do definitely try it out in the exam. Now, based on this, let us find out the answer to the given question. So an input has been given to us. What do we do? Step one, what should be step one? We know in step one, we'll have three numbers. The first number is the difference of these two. Second number is the difference of these two. Third number is the difference of these two. So what should we get in step one? 64 minus 29 is 35. 79 minus 16 is 63. 72 minus, I mean difference basically, not minus as such, difference of numbers, right? 47 difference, 72 is 25, right? Or rather 3, 5, 6, 3, and 2, 5, right? Step two, what is step two? Multiply the, in step two, we, in step two, we had two numbers, right? How do we get the two numbers? The first number is the product of the second digits of all the numbers. So five into three, 15, 15 into three, 45. And second number is the product of first digit of all the numbers. So three into six, 18, 18 into two, 36. You remember? What is step three? Step three was a typical step, right? Uh, five into six minus three, which is equal to 15. So six minus three multiplied by this number, five into six minus three, six minus three, three, three into five, 15. And this was uh, six into five minus four. Five minus four is one into six is six. So the numbers are 15 and six, 15 and 6 are the numbers. Here 45 and 36 are the numbers. Here of course 35. Don't do all this in the exam, right? I'm wasting our time actually. Like last step, step 4. What's the last step for? Uh, 15 minus 6 cube. 15 minus 6 cube is 9 cube. What is 9 cube? That's a fun answer. Let me just check. I have a doubt with regards to this positioning actually. What do we do here? 4 into 7 minus 2, 7 to 6 minus 4. Yeah, correct. Oh, hold on. I, did I commit a mistake in calculation? 5 into 3, 15. 15 into 5 should be 75. Uh oh. Everything will go wrong. I have to recorrect it. Sorry. I think I made a mistake here. This is not 45, this is 75. One mistake and everything has to be redone. Bad. Lost five months. Be very careful, right? Very, very careful. This number is three into, sorry, five into three, 15, 15 into five, 75. And this number is three into six, 18, 18 into two, 36. Then here we'll have five into six minus three. Six minus three is three, three into five, 15. And here we'll have 6 into 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. 6 into 2 is 12. And this should be 5 minus 12. 3 cube. 3 cube is 27. Now we can answer the question. Now we can answer the questions. Look at the questions. Question will be very easy. What is the difference between second block of second step and first block of third step? Second block of second step and first block of third step. What is the second block of second step? 36. What's the first block of third step? 15. What's the difference between these two? 21. That's your answer.